the screen. And uh, tonight we're on part four of Andromeda. And uh, we'll see how things go tonight. I'm feeling really run down today. I'm starting to wonder if I'm like coming down with something or if I'm having some lightweight version of a flu or something. I don't know. Feel a little tired all day. I might try for strawberries soon. I'd kill I don't know. Strawberries. But well, we'll do a little streaming and then uh, I'll go figure out what the hell else I can. I did get out and get a couple of things done today, so it's not been a bad day, but it's been a kind of a weird day. Wonder if I can get this part off local traders. Local traders? What local traders? The only locals we know are the get or whatever the hell those guys are. They fucking hate us. Let's see. Oh, that's my stuff. Let's see. Uh, emergency shield discharge. A rare nomad mod. When the nomad shields are entirely depleted, shield cells will discharge. Generating a shock wave that sends nearby enemies flying. Upgrade will be installed automatically on the nomad. Nomad statistics are available in the use of statistics section of the skills menu. Uh, hard press. Oh, I can change my paint job. I forgot about that. This game offers you new paint jobs. Because that's... I mean, I guess if you want to pimp your ride, that's cool. But I don't know. I, I'm, I, I guess if I had a whole bunch of money just lying around and I felt like dicking around, I could go paint it up. But really? Okay, anyway, um, yeah, nothing of interest there. Um, rare augmentation. This is a mod slots augmentation. You may apply one such augment to a gun during development process. Oh, like when I build a gun. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's fascinating. I guess I should just go do stuff. A ray of hope for sleep starved residents. Maintenance begins on malfunctioning sunlamps, causing unending daylight in some Nexus quarters. Oh boy, unending daylight, that's nice. There's one thing that we needed, it was unending daylight. But hey, we're finally gonna get around to fixing that up so you can get some sleep. Pathfinder, do you have just a minute? Sure, what? Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tavessa, freelance fit maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. It takes integrity to record the truth and nothing but. Well, I do my best. And you could help me out. The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? Yes, because okay. he seems like a Okay, interview fairy. away. Let's start at home. Fourteen months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. 
By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? We still have to fix them. Everyone, leaders included, needs to pitch in. Let's be honest about these challenges and how we're going to face them. Nice. Won't make you popular with the leaders, but it's good to hear. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. You were great. I'll get to work editing. Good to see you. Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend. A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. Due respect, Director Tan, but you don't know me. Oh, I think I do. Your ingenuity speaks for itself, Ryder. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. Though I worry about your decision on Eos, Ryder. A military outpost won't help feed the Nexus, not the way scientists might have. But it will protect us from a growing list of threats. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. I wasn't really asking for it. Of course. I support that kind of enthusiasm. Right. <laughs> Ryder, this is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your brother, sort of. Drop by when you can. Hyperion Med Bay. Oh, Will boy. Do. Pathfinder, we are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. Oh, fuck. Right. Sorry. She had something that could help with our job. Yeah, I just bet. Any logistics updates are due within the hour. What the hell is all this crap? Crap? I bet it's all crap. Notable European interplanetary mission. Donated to the Andromeda Initiative Historical Records Council. All dates are common era. 
1995 to 1992, get a Gato first ESA deep space mission, first ESA mission to intercept an asteroid, Haley and Grig. Skull Jet, I don't know, Skeller Jet, Skeller, Skeller, ah. 1990 launch of the Hubble Space Telescope. Do I really need to read this? Uh, oh, hey, let's, let's look at the funny ones. Let's see. Um, 2003, Mars Express, first USA mission to Mars. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Also, 2003, Smart One, first USA mission to Luna. Yeah. Yeah. 2004, Zeta, first uh, USA mission into orbit, to orbit an asteroid. 2006, Venus Express, right? Also, 2006, uh, Eugen's first successful landing in the outer solar system world. <laughs> okay, I'll quit reading them. Um, Hydroponics reports oxygen production is nominal. All right, get the fuck out of here. Mr. Sham. No, it isn't what we wanted, but what choice? You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more security, like you chose at Prodromos? That's your call. Brecca will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C-63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. <laughs> You're kidding? Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? Sorry. The fact that he's looking straight ahead and playing with an Omni tool looks so fucked up to me. <laughs> All right. Um. All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. Okay. Let's see, lab technicians help the Nexus science team analyze the Halius data, increased efficiency, earn research points at regular intervals, mining operations, selection of minerals. Okay. I already have a military outpost. Financial infrastructure, gray markets. Trade capacity. Apparently, waking up farmers is not an option. Does the military have farmers? Hunting parties. Hmm. All right. 
Yeah, let's get some bad press out. Oh, good, a bar, because that's what we need. Hey, there's puke on the floor. I hear you went down to Eos. Did you find anything to help my case? An enemy blast to the back killed the chief. Your shot missed. What? You, you're kidding me. Thank the spirits. This is great. Hold on there. The chief's Omni tool recorded you over the body. Sam, play back. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Shit. Not only did you think you killed him, you meant to. But you just said I didn't, so it doesn't matter, right? The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. <laughs> Director Tan will determine what's to be done. You did try to cover it all up. Look. I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent, plain and simple. We'll see about that. Yeah, fuck you, dude. A reminder to all personnel, overtime hours remain in effect. Ah, oh, speak with Tan again, you motherfuckers. He said he had to do something shitty in his lap. Ryder, you're off to a promising start. I meant what I said. You are a symbol now of hope that things will get better. Do I worry about this terraforming network? What do we really know about it? It's like nothing we've ever seen. It's clear somebody had big plans for this cluster. But who? Not sure yet, but at least we're on the trail. Did you have some other business? Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. And we're setting precedent <laughs> for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. These things are almost never black and white. I know. If we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? Oh, how come I get to be the one that has to fucking figure out the whole justice system? You know what? Fuck that guy. He intended to kill the chief. He pulled the trigger, believed he'd done it. Banish him. Agreed. Sometimes we must rule with our hearts. I hope my conscience will be as clear as yours seems to be. Well, at least we'll have this sordid business behind us. I love the, the, the really ham-fisted attempt to, to try to make me feel like this was this was a really important decision. How could you easily make this tough decision? Well, the guy was a fucking attempted murderer. Fuck him. Put him in a fucking airlock and open the door. Exile him to deep space with no spacesuit. Fuck it. Who needs that shit around? Oh, but maybe that's just me being an asshole. Oh yeah, the ship's back this way. Once again, a Citadel-like place that I fucking don't want to be in. Let's 
pepper in <laughs> A bar opens on the Nexus. Visitors herald the vortex as a sign of civility and the opposite of civility as more sleepers wake in need of a drink. This is H&S. all of this shit. How do I get to my goddamn spaceship? Apparently not this way. figuring out every fucking problem you people have. Do it yourself. <coughs> what the hell are you trying to say? I can't wait to be assigned to an outpost. This place is amazing. I want to return to my ship. Get me off of this crap hole. Ah. Uh, maybe later. Maybe later I'll be more engaged in the storyline. Sorry. My fucking room. PB said she wants to talk caring. to you. What? I don't know what the hell you guys just said, but I wasn't listening, so. Whatever it was, it must not be important. We're on a collision course with unknown objects. Make corrections. Sam, are you on this? Collision is imminent. All stop now! Chips, a dozen. Uh, no, more. They've got us pinned against the scourge. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. We'll scan them back. Why did we turn off all the lights? Where is the one who activated the remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. I'm Ryder, captain of the ship and Pathfinder with the initiative. You'll come with me. Not fucking right. They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. I actually know a lot about the Remnant. We should compare notes. Enough! Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Report! 
damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here. It will be tight. Hello? Yes! Joker wouldn't have lost the aft sensors. <laughs> right. Nice work, kid. Yeah, but who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up, anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? Kill, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're being contacted. We have to land. Open a comm. Tove Jagalesto. Tove Jagalesto. We're visitors from another galaxy. Our intentions are peaceful. Pav Nalesetto. They've sent us a nap point. Set Look, us down. Can't you speak English in this damn galaxy? Fucking Americans. They never change. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. It's also inhabited. We need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. This is what it's all about, right? New worlds, new aliens. Wish me luck. Hey guys, what's up? Toe Jagalisto or whatever the fuck. Get the squad time you have. Thank you. Hey, I'm the ghost. Mason Roa. I'm Paran Shai. Governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed Dark Space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw the ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. She's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Mm. Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? We come with a spirit of cooperation and to live in harmony. <laughs> We've heard that before. From who? I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Follow closely. Draw! Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. What's 
Well, might I say the enemy of my enemies? I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. Okay. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. Oh god, this rash is killing me. How did it find us? She, not it. And stop staring. How do you know I'm not a they them? None of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. What happens if Ephra doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. This is the Resistance Headquarters. Ephra is waiting inside. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I am telling you to be strong, through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then, you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose Vold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. It wasn't meant that way. I have an arc full of desperate people counting on me to find them a Agreed. home before they starve. I think it's the of course, I feel for you and your people. No. So, Pathfinder, fake. never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We... Can't help you. I wish I could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Ephra, I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. 
I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want. But when she tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amaderov. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Thank you for trusting me. I don't. But I can always kill you in your sleep. Good to know. You'll love my Crowden. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Um, return to the temple. Okay. Be careful out there. You know I will. You really think the Moshe is alive? I'm sure. Ryder, ship's fixed up and ready to fly. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Did the translators not work? They work. I know we're improvising as we go, but let's remember that there is Pathfinder team protocol. Don't think I got that handbook. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously? Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. What the fuck was that? One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then, Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jal's told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vold. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions. A shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Don't know yet. Just be ready to go at a moment's notice. Got it? You bet. Jal, give Kalo the nav points for both planets. Let's do this.
In engineering, if you need something. Let's see, still need, looks like, lithium and whatever the fuck that is. Jismoglobin, who knows. Right, well, nothing to do there. Aya has so much biodiversity. And the waterfalls. Just like Sir Kesh. Hmm. Rats. Hmm, what was it for system space? I'm picking up something. a huge mineral deposit. And it is beryllium. I, I really don't like the, the way they do this where it's like, oh, yeah, scan. Okay, you found it. Launch a probe. Oh, okay, now we have to zoom over there. Okay, now you have to you have to left click to get whatever it is. Okay, that's all there is. Why do I have to go through all of that? So I can so I can navigate around it for no reason. I mean, come on, really. This is kind of silly. Again, it, it feels like a a hey, this would be a neat idea kind of a thing where it turned out not to be such a good thing. Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. All right, let's make some pencils. Oh, sorry. And this bit where we're in this zoomed out view and then it feels like, oh, I need to zoom into this planet so that I can then zoom over to that planet. Just, just, just send me to the planet, okay? In fact, can I please just scan these without having to drive to them? You know, can't I just scan from here and go, oh yeah, there's an anomaly in that one. We care about that one. That's not just a fucking dead planet with nothing on it. Can't do anything with. Yeah. I'm picking up something. Probes launched. Satellite detected. I mean, it's a, it's a neat system, but it's not neat for long enough.
you know, the first time you've seen it, it's it gets old fast. And yeah. Then you just kind of want them to quit. Stop making me look at this shit! Alright. Um. Wait, didn't it tell me I could go to either one? Ah, uh, here it is. Here's the other one. Okay. I can either go to here to help the scientists. Or here to meet the resistance. There you go. Stoned and want to know how it felt to be a pinball. Makes as much sense as the rest of it does. Let's go meet the resistance. Okay, and the fact that the Doctor Who sequence is not skippable is a little frustrating as well. Because again, it was neat once, but it's not neat every time. I'm picking up something. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Well, now we can fix all the cabling. Anomaly detected. Yeah, I wonder where it is. Probe away. Detecting what's left of a ship. A whole bunch of crap discovered. Yay! Anomaly detected. Launched. I found something. Storm data radius 137 kilometers. Wind speed 157 kilometers. Rotation counterclockwise. Analysis. This is a massive hurricane. Th this massive hurricane is carrying some sort of nitrogen adapted plankton over the oceans. Uh, Dividus appears to be home to simpler life forms. Yay, free XP. So it's space trash. You've discovered garbage. Congratulations. Aren't you glad you had to go through that zoom sequence for that? Oh, most definitely. Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. Uh, yes, send us the LZ. Yeah, those are the weapons I want, that's fine. Switch back to that. I don't think I have anything new. Did I get a new helmet? Ah, oh, yes, I did. <coughs>
so I can't pick my squad mates. Okay, how about the, the, the Jeep? No items available. No items available. Okay. Fine, whatever. Take her okay. down, Kello. Designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable nitrogen rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O in Habitat 6 folds to the Angarai is ice. And those oceans frozen over completely. There goes the dream of a seaside property. Ice, ice, baby. Too cold, too cold. <laughs> That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. I wasn't kidding. There's no way anyone could find anything through all the snow. Keep going, Ryder. Try not to make any sudden movements. You're probably being watched. Oh, lovely. What, you didn't make a uh, shepherd? What's wrong with Papa Jim? These heaters are a lifesaver. Almost at the base now. Make sure you talk to Commander Anyik when you arrive. Commander Pain in the Anyik? Got it. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. You get clearance to take off yet? The ambient temperature is normal. Life support is stable. Got a message from my brother this morning. 
You're the alien Jarl brought. A possible asset, he says. We've allowed you into our base at his request. I am Anyik Dozil. Remember the name, because if you betray us, I will kill you myself. Be assured that what I do to you will make the stars turn their faces and grow dark. Yeah, okay. I have no intention of betraying you. Say what you want. It is the hands that reveal true intention. If you wish to prove yourself, be an ally in our fight against the Ket. Despite our best efforts, their growing forces remain a threat to our people. Speak to our lookouts who watch the valley. They'll know where our need is dire. Go now. I have other things to attend to. Uh, so I needed to talk to you to get permission to get my murder on? Is that what I'm hearing? Cat surveillance. Uh... Five hundred shift change. Seven hundred cat leader goes to console. Speaks with unknown. Eight twenty cat patrol returns. Ports uh, nothing unusual. Nine ten. Kirkran enters camp. Quickly dispatched. Ten fifty nine. Cat comes close to bug location. Eleven o'clock. Cat leader checks weapon. 1549, uh, cat leader checks weapon again. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to read these. These don't look like they actually have anything. Apologies, Pathfinder. I'm a little busy at the moment. Okay. We maybe switch to the one I'm actually fucking on. Thanks, that's really helpful. It'd be really great if I could pick my teammates. You know, I picked that Krogan up for a reason. Solid setup here. Let's try to make a good first impression. This operation's bigger than I thought. But I brought the snacks last time. But I never. Whoa! Didn't mean to sneak up on you. Your commander said you could show us the valley. Zeke, I don't want to talk to it. You talk to it. Stop it, Benny Skirt. The commander sent word. We knew they were coming. Yeah, we can show you the valley. What are you looking for? I'm here to help your people. Know anyone who needs it? We've got reports from Hajara about someone trying to rescue a kidnapped family. See those red lights? That's it. If you're here to help, like the commander says, you could start there. Anything else? Those red lights. You said that's Hajara? Yes. Hajara Station. One of the Dar in the valley. It's a small community, mostly scientists. There's people there that might need help if you haven't checked it out already. How do they live out there? Why so surprised? We adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the cat attack? We've adapted to that, too. The cat wants to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Visan I ever saw. Even the Ket seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh... I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So, where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. I'll let you get back to your work. Yeah, you behave. We're watching you. 
Tempest, we're going to need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. I'm reading a severe temperature drop. You don't fucking say. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Life support at 100. Okay, Sam, what's Volt got for us? Kept activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all kept military efforts on Vold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Ket installations. Any suggestions on how to get on Ephra's good side? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Vold's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it? Thanks. Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths, which suggests the presence of a vault. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. All right, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Please be careful, Ryder. Trust me. How about we don't gun it down the icy mountain? Ah, shut up. I know what I'm doing in my space. Oh, shit! I wonder if the Angara would let us train with them. I'd like to see their methods. They're a tough bunch. I wouldn't mind hanging out with the Resistance at some point. Learn some new things. Make some new friends. We're out of the worst of it. Temperature should be manageable now. Okay, um... Scott, they almost got past me. Easy. Are you all right? Better now that those cat are dead. Ah, I thought I could lead them the other way. If you hadn't come along, they'd be halfway to our camp by now. How bad are you hurt? Can you make it back? It'll be comical, but I can walk, and I know a secret route to the camp. Just wide enough for one. I can get back faster than you're over. Have the Ked tracked down the resistance here? No, no, these scum caught a signal flash and were too stubborn to ignore it. 
You didn't give them time to report in. All their superiors will know is that they went missing in the blizzard. Right. We have to keep going. Go, go. I'll roll the cat bodies off the cliff before I head back. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. So apparently we've already been to that, and that's not where I need to go. Just that where I need to be going next. All right. the AI rulebook doesn't insist the Pathfinder always gets to drive. I swear I will turn this car around. But, you know, that would be too useful. Then I might get my shields back or something. Oh, okay. As long as there's nothing in view, I can take some cover. Well, that's good.
Yeah, I mean, that was really my fault, but... I really don't like the, the go fight them in the middle of this fucking wasteland where uh, you can't take cover. You're like, that, that's a waist-high rock. I should be able to crouch behind that. Nope. No cover, no way. Oh, and don't forget, you're in the middle of an icy wasteland, so it's fucking cold and you're freezing. Maybe they won't notice. Well, apparently they won't. How come I can't steal their truck? Where are all the cat? What, did they just abandon this place after I died? Apparently. Okay, um, a little lost with this, but all right, sure, what, whatever. Come on. what you signed on for it's what we have not the answer I'm looking for just help Ryder and keep going that's all we can do looks like a research station of some sort wonder what they're doing out here let's see if someone here needs help Can't imagine anything here interesting. The top layer is completely different. They contain traces of four different radioactive isotopes. Why not? I heard this was a research station. I'm always interested in exploratory science. I wasn't expecting that. I never heard that about you. Now, is there anything you need from me? Yeah, apparently they're not responding to Kev from that encounter. I don't know. Uh. You were saying something about ice talkers? Huh. Don't let anyone hear you. Stupid story that started years ago when Dinor and I were students in Australia. Talk to Dinor. He knows more about how that tale spread. What are you doing with this giant block of ice? That was cut out from below Hijara. We're right above an inland sea and the ice goes deep. Very deep. Everything under the first layer was perfectly preserved from a time before the Scourge. There's a lot we can learn from the composition of the deeper layers. Microbes, ancient life forms, all untouched by the Scourge. I won't disturb your work. Only the Ket showed us the same courtesy. How far up this guy's asshole do I have to walk to be able to talk to him? The numbers check out. I, I don't know what else I can do to strengthen my argument. I... Oh, hello. You're that right alien everyone's talking about. What can I do for you? I have no idea. You said something about ice talkers? What are those? Oh, that's something of a joke between me, John Lith, and everyone who went to school with us in Australia. One of our classmates was at an old archaeological dig and thought he heard a voice through the ice. 
Two months later, another group claimed they heard the same thing. An angry voice. What was it? Too much Malay. That's what Janlith says. Now it's become something of a joke between us. This isn't Haval. You spend too long out there in the dark, you'll get weak, sick, or worse. It's bad. I get it. How do I stay alive? The moment you see sunlight, break cover. Soak up all the rays you can. I'll be a target. Not for long. You'll get a lot from just five minutes of exposure. After that, get back undercover. The human is listening to us. You here to learn survival tips from old Percy? Why does your kind need the sun? We draw nourishment from solar radiation. Keeps us sharp. Even healed minor injuries. But we have to keep out of sight, or the cat will spot us. You sound like an expert, and I'd like to survive. What I can teach wouldn't help. Different biology. Your body can't store a charge. Good luck out there. Probably I'm ready to fast. go, Pussy. Not so fast. You still don't know how to read a weather pattern. Found an abandoned supply pack on the Eastern Plain. Huh. Nothing good in it. Tools, some frozen nutrient paste. Did you extract the metal from that sample we took? Well, I haven't seen many of your kind around here, but I've heard lots about the Pathfinder from my friends on Iowa. I have a good feeling about that. Oh, good things, I hope. So far. I'll take a look at your stock. Got plenty of supplies. All right, um, tech power damage. I like that. Expensive, though. These are doing one to weapon, combat power. Yeah, oh, are you fucking kidding me? I hate you. This game is so bad. Yeah, oh, you bought that stuff? Yeah, fuck you. You can't use it. Oh, thanks. We can't just attack an entire Ket base. You're that alien people have been talking about. Some say we can't trust you. But if you're here to fight Ket, that's good enough for me. You made a quick decision about me. <sighs> you got me. I hoped that if I flattered you, you'd help me rescue my uncle, Nilch. I had to try something. If the cat moved Nilch from the labor camp, we'll never find him again. Will you do it? Will you help me? What's a cat labor camp for? Different things. They put people in cages there. Sometimes they make them work. Sometimes they collect Angara, and once they have enough, they move them. And sometimes they just kill them. My father died that way. Don't be sorry. Make sure I don't lose more family. I'll get your uncle. 
Here's the nav point of the labor camp. Please hurry. Nilge may not have much time. All right. The labor camp? No. No. Oh, uh, wait. What's the memory trigger? Memory trigger. This is random shit. Okay, now we're going to go here. All right. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Reminds me of Christmas in the mountains. That's a bright side, yeah? Whatever you think of it, this is a beautiful planet. They said it was a golden world. I'm still reeling. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Tracarian's War? The black and white one? Nope. What about Heart of Sirius? Nope. Who can live this long and miss that many classics? Must be a talent. That looks like cat tech. Dumbass. Oh wait, no, I got a better idea. Oh, sorry about that, bro. Motherfucker. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Life support is back online. What was your deal? Coming to Andromeda. Chance for a niche that didn't exist anywhere else. Though I suppose it doesn't here either. We're changing that. I know it. Yacht talked about. All right, time to rescue some uncles.
you here to rescue us? The control panel is right there. Shut this down. is falling, Pathfinder. Get me out of here! Get out of temperature is the wall. Life support. I'm gonna kill these cats! to get out! Freedom? Disable the fence, quick! I'm not getting away with this! Talk to me, god damn it. Just in time. Would have given us another day at most. No thanks to Rana's jabs. If the cat can't handle being called mildly insulting things, that's on them, not me. You see what I mean? We owe you. 
How'd you find us, anyway? Your nephew, Skiat, was trying to get you rescued. Good boy. He's got potential, Nilt. So you've said before. The Resistance needs to be debriefed. We'll head back to base as soon as possible. What about the data drive? We have to deliver it to Buxel so she can start the analysis. Interesting. It seems we have to depend on our rescuer for more than a rescue. Can you deliver this drive to Tetrix? Sure. If we work together, no time will be wasted. I'll go there as soon as I can. Perfect. Buxel will be in her workshop. I hope we meet again, under better circumstances. Jal, we liberated a group of resistance fighters. Leaders called Nilge. Could use a pickup at my location. They're on their way. This is big. Liberating key resistance agents and recovering information they stole from the Ket. You've put many doubts about you to rest, Ryder. Even Ephra must now be convinced of your intentions. What about the data drive Nilge entrusted to us? Good point. If you prefer, you could go to Tejix now and speak to Ephra later. The choice is yours. I need to get this data drive to Tejix. I can deal with Ephra later. I thought you might say that. Very well. We'll talk to Ephra when you're done with your tasks here. from Cora. Listen. Wasn't I in the middle of something? Oh, Jesus Christ. Update from Prefect Bowed. 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 Well, that. Fuck it. Uh, devoted. Our attempts to release the repugnant and Garn AI from their frozen city are behind schedule. Archon continues to instruct me to capture it and not destroy it. More slaves are required. The frequency of raids will be increased. That is all. Detainee group uh, number 6019, uh, acquisition acquired on rate of settlement, Eros, Eroesque. Uh, physical analysis complete, genetic analysis complete, summary three chosen, additional comments, civilian group one soldier, six, remaining six were distributed to various facilities to assist in our efforts. Uh, detainee group 6025, uh, acquired in an ambush, complete, complete, uh, physical analysis, complete genetic analysis, complete, summary chosen, zero chosen, additional comment, failed group of five, all resistance soldiers, expectations unmet. Uh, detainee group 6028, uh, acquisition acquired and failed resistance attack on operations center. Uh, physical analysis complete, genetic analysis incomplete, uh, summary awaiting input, additional comments, group of five resistant soldiers unyielding great promise. Well, that's nice. Okay. Huh. 
tell I can't open that door for some reason. All right. Probably because it's too close to where I have to go. Why does Dad ever chat? Get to know each other. Sometimes. Not much small talk. He didn't talk small. <laughs> he and I had our little routine. I'd say, good morning, and he'd say, hmm. He liked saving people more than socializing with them. That looks like cat tech. Detecting local frequency interference. This could be affecting planetary communications. Let's check it out. Material, something else that can explode. Apparently, there's nothing new in here. It just looked like there might be. No Eturian tactics. I ran into this scarred up merc who had some really good. You don't care. It's just. I've studied tactics from thousand year campaigns, Liam. Man. This story killed back home. Can you imagine the heating bills if we settled here? So, if we started an outpost here, would we all live in snow forts? Automated forwards. That's Techex, according to my map. We need to find Buxel, Neil just sister. Hey, can you help me with something? There's a wraith cloaked near you. I lost its movement. Will you scan for it and let me know where it's hiding? I hope they know we're not kidding. There's a dar up ahead. Imagine being posted out here. Must be lonely. Yeah, no, apparently I can't help you, bro. He left Vold? He got free and didn't even pay me a courtesy visit? I'm sorry. I can't say oh, more, but what Neil is doing is extremely important and time-sensitive. 
Not even a call. Hello, sister. Thought I'd let you know I'm still alive. Not Jesus, even that. Annoying. That's between you and him. He certainly had time to call. Anyway, thanks for telling me. I'll keep you updated on anything else I find. Good. Signing off. Are you Buxel? I have something for you. From my brother who can't stop being a hero? Yes. Anyik told me to expect you. My son Skiot said he'd send people after Nilge. I thought more lives lost. Nice to see I was wrong. Thanks for getting him out. Losing him would have set our efforts back months. Is the data they carried that important? Nils and the commander seem to think so. Now, let's see what we have here. Stars and skies. This is... This is a layout of the Ket Command Center. Entrances, exits, security. We'll be able to cripple their operations. Wait, there's something else here. Oh, that's not good. What? The base entrances are shielded and locked with a code which changes, often. Metadata tells me they downloaded this weeks ago. The code is about to change again. If an attack is going to happen, it needs to happen now. Let me help. Tell me what to do. The code to disable the security shields is encrypted, but I'll keep working on it. I've sent you the map and a nav point for a side entrance that won't have as many guards. Go quickly. We'll be in touch. I'm reading a temperature decrease. Thanks, I didn't know. The ambient temperature is normal. Oh, wait. Life support is back online. I just realized something. I don't want to do something to change out my loadout. Right. Let me see if I can change out my damn armor now. Uh, yeah. Let's see, that was combat power, and this is, yeah, I will take that. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. Damn it. How am I? What's that? Scan for the Wraith. Uh-huh. All right. We're on top of it. Seriously, Ryder, you didn't bring any music? For that, you don't have a truck. I just wish we could hear them sing. I hear the kid haven't abducted anyone from Nostrad. I'm there living in normal temperature on range, Pathfinder. I'm telling you, the kid avoid that city. They're afraid of it. I'm reading a temperature decrease.
Oh, for fuck's sake, are you kidding me? Where's this fucking thing supposed to be at? Helping. Fucking people are useless. No, oh, go find this thing. It's fucking gone out there somewhere. I was tracking it and I lost it. Can you wander around out in the fucking dark and no, find it for me? No! Temperature is normal. I'm reading a temperature decrease. Right. Where is whatever the fuck I'm supposed to be getting to? my journal. Jesus, this is annoying. Okay, fine. Let's go do that one. Favorite place back on Earth? I wasn't there much. Uh, I suppose I liked London. Good choice. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. already been here. Yeah. 
Maybe it's not this thing that's the thing that I'm looking for. Where's my fucking truck? Get my truck and drive around so Discipline Costa. Stop riding me, Harper. What the fuck? This is the source of that interference? Looks like a meteorite. The interference is caused by the EM radiation it's emitting. I detect that. Adi, headed our way. drawing the Ardi, as well as driving them into a frenzy. How do we shut it off? Perhaps the scan will tell us more, Pathfinder. I was scanning it ten seconds ago and that didn't fucking help. Pathfinder, I can modify your Omni tool to dampen the signal. are really coming at us. We are close to the source of the signal. Perhaps something about the frequency causes agitation in the beasts. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? That was annoying. Oh, of course, I gotta be on the ground to do this because if I was up on the meteorite, they wouldn't be able to get at me. I think we're safe for now. Sam, what exactly was going on here? The energies from this meteorite share similarities with the Scourge. It may have passed through it at some point. I suggest we return it to the Nexus for analysis. We could learn more about the Scourge. Sure. True. Disrupting comms, driving wildlife into a frenzy. There's too much here to ignore. We need to study it. Hopefully the Hajara scientists won't have any more trouble with our comms. Okay. 
You're better than your list of training. You had a mentor. I had a team who didn't want me to die. Still do, right? We all do. Some shield. That's Jarnuk. They can't think they'll find some remnant thing there. Our people can't break through that shield. It's controlled from the main command base. Life support restored. Okay, so basically nothing to see here then, all right. promised a prefab homestead exactly this long after exiting cryo. We'll get there, won't we, Ryder?
tight grip on that weapon, Cora. It's nothing. If we get things back on track, it's nothing. I hear you. Let's find these gloves. <laughs> Listen, if I wanted to fucking play Mario, I fucking play Mario. I don't like Mario. Can you quit throwing in these fucking shitty jump puzzles? Please. For the love of fuck. Okay, let's solve this thing. <clears throat> and nothing to break up your 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 playtime like playing a Sudoku puzzle again.
That's what all the gamers were screaming. God damn it. This game needs more Sudoku. I don't know how many times I said that playing games. Why isn't there more Sudoku in this fucking RPG action shooter? And then came this game. I went, oh, that's why, because it sucks. That's why it's not there. Yeah, I know. Again, ways to make gamers dislike your game. Murder the action with Sudoku. That is such a, a terribly thought out plan. This is, this is where you start getting to the annoying because you get down to the wire and you're like, oh, wait, that won't work. Now I need to redo it. And yeah, this is not, this is not my thing. This is not fun for me. Which is problematic since it's essentially got to be something you enjoy because I keep fucking doing it to you endlessly. No, oh, I, I hate these fucking things. This is, this is this is why I started looking these up, because I'm sitting here looking at this going, yeah, I've got it all wrong. Oh well I mean I know what's wrong. I've got I've got the pattern of symbols wrong. But that means I just need to reset and, and start over or something. Oh wait, I can use one. Oh, I don't have any remnant decryption keys. 
Boy, I wish I had some remnant decryption keys. Where the fuck do those come from? Yeah, Tabby? What's up? Did your sister come out of the couch yet? No, it's all wrong. <clears throat> okay, put that there. Yeah, the, the random symbol thing is a little annoying, but it's it's just pattern matching. It's just that it's it's not something I really want to do. <clears throat> and they're essentially forcing it on me. Which is never a good call, really. Glad you're the one tapped in these. Yeah, fuck you. This is this is exactly why I, I dislike this game. Shit like this is destructive. And all it does is, is make me not want to play. You know. I kind of miss the infrastructure in place back in the Milky Way. Right. I, I kind the good of miss old things. When squirrels carried the plague. What yeah. are you talking about? Just saying, we gave up lots of things, including a world where squirrels carried plague. Earth, that was the one. We'll just have to make new bloated infrastructures and find squirrels. I miss rickets. I still don't know what you're talking about. Cat ahead, Pathfinder. I recommend caution.
That message console is hackable, Pathfinder. <clears throat> message to anointed. Control is sending a fleet of shuttles to Havarl tomorrow. We anticipate breaking the planet's defenses soon. We'll have plenty of new stock for the facility. So there's a control center for catch shuttles on Fold. This message contains a fragmented passcode. If we find more terminals, I can reassemble it. And we can take out the control center. Back there. Back where? Wherever you like. There's a whole galaxy behind us. Temperature decrease. Naturally, I have to walk in there to get shot. Of course I do. What? Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable what parameters. The fuck? Am I smoking crack or did the guys in here just disappear? of them. They, they murdered me right away. They just despawned. Well, there didn't shit in here. I thought there was going to be a fucking thing in here. I'm oh, reading the temperature it. decrease. Where the hell did my fucking truck get to? You left, you left, you left, right, left. So you can talk the talk. Now walk it. Can we stop doing this? I'm tired of listening to you go back and forth. I'm nearly as enchanting as this thing to think of here. Pathfinder, I detect cat among the salvage. What salvage? What, what, where? Wow. Imagine how big they'd be if they were somewhere warm.
Ambient temperature is normal. Remnant have overtaken this area, Pathfinder. It may be worth investigating. No one. There's a lot more Sudoku, and I don't want to do Sudoku, so fuck you. That's the part of the Keck Command Center. You think? Next she'll be telling me there's Ket around here somewhere. Oh, god damn it! that one guy can burn through my whole shield and all my health in one go. Oh, and, and that they're so pinpoint accurate that from all the way across the screen... Keep a look for Ket. They're not they going to want us in here. Waste me. Ket, keep shot. up here getting shot while my guys take cover. That's great.
As a matter of fact, I think I've had enough of this whole game. Because I honestly don't feel like going and playing any more Sudoku, which means I can't play any more of this game. So, yeah. I think we're done. Um, I'd love to say have a good stream, but, you know. Yeah, it's shit. Um, the... Uh, the no cover thing is is just I, I can't take that. It's just too frustrating to not be able to tell what's cover when you're trying to fight guys that are coming from all sides and all sorts of other shit. I, I'm just done. I think I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll see if there's no I'll, I'll look around and see if I've got something else I want to play. Um it's definitely not gonna be this mess. Um I've, I've probably got something else we can play, but uh, anyway. Till tomorrow, I think I'm done. Hope you had a good stream, and I will, uh, I'll see you tomorrow.